Hi class, welcome to lesson 48. In this lesson on colligative properties, we will determine the effect of adding a solute to a solvent on its boiling and point and freezing point. We will compare the boiling point and freezing point of a solution, a homogeneous mixture, to that of a pure substance, a compound or element. Determine the effect of a concentration on solute particles on the freezing point and boiling point of a solution. You can use guided notes found on Google Classroom or you can take your own, but your notes will be checked. Let's get started. A colligative property is a property of a solution that depends only on the concentration or amount of particles that are placed into the solvent it does not depend on the identity of those particles or the chemical formula of those particles. So colligative properties depend only on the number of particles and again, not on the type of particles. So it doesn't matter if the particles are ionic or covalent molecules, it just matters how many particles end up in the solution. As a general rule, you're going to need to be able to count the number of particles. To count the number of particles, you are going to take the number of ions and multiply it by the concentration or molarity of the solution. The more particles in a solution, the greater the effect or the greater the colligative property. There are two colligative properties we are going to examine. The first one is called boiling point elevation. The boiling point of a solution increases when a solute is added. For instance, we add salt to water before we boil it because we can increase the boiling temperature. Normal water boils at 100 degrees Celsius but salted water boils at 102 degrees Celsius. Hotter water means our pasta will cook faster. So by now you should be able to determine the effect of adding a solute on a solution's boiling point. The other colligative property we're going to examine is called the freezing point depression. When adding a solute to a solution, the freezing point decreases. This is why we add salt to icy roads. Ice usually forms at a temperature of zero degrees Celsius or lower. But if we add salt to the roads, we can lower the freezing point. So the ice won't form until let's say negative two degrees Celsius. So the ice will be melted over a greater range of temperatures. This is because adding solute to a pure substance creates intermolecular forces that make it so that it is harder for the substance to freeze and boil. So by now you should be able to compare the boiling point and freezing point of a solution, again, a homogeneous mixture to that of a pure water. So the most important idea in colligative properties is that the more particles, the greater the effect on both increasing the boiling point and decreasing the freezing point. Molecular compounds do not dissociate because they share electrons in a bond. So molecular compounds will typically have the least effect. Ionic compounds effect is influenced by the number of ions that are in the neutral formula. Sodium chloride contains two ions. So it will have a greater effect than any covalent substance because covalent substances do not break apart. But sodium chloride has 
less effect on increasing the boiling point and decreasing the freezing point than sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate is ionic, but it has three ions. The more ions created, the greater the effect of increasing the boiling point and decreasing the freezing point. Let's look at a sample question. What occurs when sodium chloride is added to water? Well, again, we know the hot gets hotter and the cold gets colder. So the boiling point always increases and the freezing point always decreases. It's important that you're able to count the number of particles in a formula. Let's practice with these four examples. In the first example, we have glucose. Glucose is a covalent compound. Covalent compounds do not dissociate into ions, so they will only create one particle per unit. The next compound, aluminum chloride, is ionic because it contains a metal and a nonmetal. Ionic compounds dissociate into their ions. Aluminum chloride has four ions, one aluminum and three chlorine ions. Sodium sulfate is also ionic. It has the polyatomic ion sulfate. Sodium sulfate creates three ions because there are two sodiums and one sulfate. Remember, polyatomic ions count as a single ion. You can see I've placed sulfate in parentheses here. Finally, we have methanol. Methan methanol has no metal components. Methanol is covalent. Covalent compounds share electrons and do not associate. So this compound will only make one particle in a solution. Compared to a two capital M means molar aqueous solution of sodium chloride, a three molar solution of sodium chloride. So the capital M is the concentration or amount. So we know that the greater the amount of particles, the greater the effect. So three molar is greater than two. So the three molar solution will have a higher boiling point and a lower freezing point. Again, the hot gets hotter and the cold gets colder every single time. In this final example, we're looking for the solution with the highest boiling point but we should go through this hierarchy to determine which solution has the greatest boiling point. We always know that ionic substances will have greater colligative properties than covalent because ionic solutions dissociate. All of these formulas, potassium nitrate and calcium nitrate are ionic, so that does not help us here. The greater the concentration, will always have a bigger effect than the lower concentration. So that means we are going to remove choices one and three, and we're gonna focus on the greater concentration. And finally, the more ions will always have a larger effect than less ions. Potassium nitrate has two ions, while calcium nitrate has three. So the best choice is choice four because it is ionic, it has the highest molarity and the most ions. We use colligative properties every day. We do things like salt icy roads. We add salt to the ice used to make ice cream and we can add antifreeze to vehicles so that the engines don't freeze in cold weather. Now you should be able to determine the effect of concentration on, of solute particles on boiling point and freezing point. This marks the end of lesson 48, Colligative Properties. Make sure you've taken good notes. They will be checked. 
Write down any questions you have and bring them to class. We will discuss them. Complete your homework on Google Classroom and put your reference table and calculator back in your backpack so you are prepared for class. I'll see you soon.